Realtor has in store. We hope to see you again for another episode of Wild Child. Powerful images of a family coming together after their son, a high school basketball player, was killed outside a party in South LA. Tonight, police continue their search for the people responsible. We want to thank you for being with us tonight. I'm Jonathan Gonzalez. And I'm Kathy Vara. Here's what's happening right now. NBC4's Tracy Leong live outside Crenshaw High School, where the vigil is planned for tonight. Tracy. Yeah, Kathy and Jonathan Quincy Reese Jr., who went by Q, was an all-star athlete here at Crenshaw High School. He played soccer, baseball, and basketball. He just finished his junior year. He was out last night celebrating with his friends and classmates when the shooting happened. It was in the Chesterfield neighborhood. His father said while Q was at the party, there was some sort of disagreement, and Q ran outside and was then shot. Police received calls for gunshots around 11.45 last night. Night. When emergency crews arrived, the 16-year-old was found outside a home on 74th and Western. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Investigators are still trying to determine what led up to the shooting. They are reviewing surveillance footage right now to determine if there are any suspects or the suspects involved. Right now at Crenshaw High School, they are starting to gather for a vigil. I'm joined right now live with his father, Quincy Reese Sr., uh, Quincy, thank you so much for speaking with us. I'm so sorry. Can you tell us what what did you find out and what have you heard so far? Um, there was an issue that happened inside that carried out. Um, I hear it was a setup. Uh, Quincy was got to get ran with two people who really wasn't he wasn't supposed to run with. So they left him where he was at, and that's when it happened. Um, I was there. To, I saw the, the fire truck because I was waiting for him to come out. I was in the car waiting for him. And he was telling me, you know, that, that might be Q because the video has circulated. And yeah, that's how I knew. But I still didn't leave till I was actually able. They didn't let me see the body. They let me see the picture. So at that time, I already knew. That was my baby. And, and, and Q, he was only 16 years old. How would you describe Q? Um, outgoing, um, make it laugh out the blue. We joke every day. We, we battle. We play basketball. We work out. We talk about family. We talk about him having his own NBA family, like LeBron. But, uh, God told me he only gave me 16 years. So I just thank God for them 16 years. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you for talking to thank us you. right now. And that was Q's father talking to us right now outside of Crenshaw High School. They're starting to gather for a vigil where classmates and friends as well as family are starting to show up to remember Q, just 16 years old. Right now, LAPD is asking for any help on a lead on the suspects or suspect. They are looking at surveillance video in that neighborhood where Q was shot. For now, that's the very latest reporting live in Hyde Park. Tracy Leong, NBC4 News. Tracy, thank you. New at five. I have a warning for pet owners in West Hollywood. Some may, someone may be poisoning dogs. Neighbors in the area around North Laurel and Fountain Avenue believe someone is intentionally putting out toxic mothballs to ward off dogs. Some of them are getting sick or worse. For example, this is Gianni. We spoke to his owners who did not want to be.